Hello, I'm Pastor Ryan, and welcome to Close to God devotional series. As a pastor, I get asked this question a lot. How do we get closer to God? I'm not sure who's watching this, so you may be someone who's seeking God, or you're not a believer, you're not a, a Christian yet. Maybe you are a Christian, and you feel this distance between you and God. Or maybe you feel close to God, and you're trying to help a, a friend or a coworker or a family member live a close relationship with Him. Through this series, I hope to help you all, everyone who's watching, to have a real meaningful relationship with Him. Now, over the years, my view of God has been a little more refined. When I was young and new in the faith, I used to feel like I had to work and strive to get close to God. It was almost like this cosmic hide and seek game and God always won. He always, I could never find him. And then I realized something as I read through scripture, as I read through the Bible, I see that God actually wants to be found. I see that God actually isn't even hiding at all. And he's not as elusive as we think. And let me show you what I mean. The first thing is I believe God is trying to reveal himself through nature. And Psalm 8 says this, verse 3, When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, you set in place. What are mere mortals or humans that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. You made them a little lower than God and crowned, him, crowned them with glory and honor. So what we see here is, is God reveals himself through creation through nature, and even us. Look in the mirror. You're a reflection and a work of art. Creation and nature and humans reflect the beauty of God and his creative mind and his attributes and his character. So God has revealed himself through that, but he's also revealed himself through Jesus. Colossians, I'm going to go to Colossians chapter 1. It says this about Jesus. Verse 15, it says, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. So Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. God was revealing himself in Jesus, not just in nature. And then there's one other way that God reveals himself, and we've been doing it through the pages of the Bible. We've been reading through a few verses and God reveals his love, his character, his relationship with us, his plans, uh, how, to, how to find eternal life, the future. He doesn't reveal everything. He doesn't tell us everything, but he does reveal himself at least in those three ways. So the truth is, God isn't hiding. God wants to be found. That's a little bit of a paradigm shift in what we usually think. We usually think we have to go find him, and we never do because he's really good at hiding. But the reality is God is all around us, and he's not even hiding. I guess the question would be is, do we want to see him? Do we want to know him? So what should we do then? Well, the Bible reveals in Jeremiah 29, 13 through 14, if you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you says the Lord. Wow. If we look with, uh, for him and look to him with our whole heart, we'll find him. So it's almost like God is saying, do you want to find me? Because if you do, you will find me. Now, I personally long to be face to face with God. I personally want more of him. I would love to be able to see him face to face. But right now, that's not how he's chosen to reveal himself. He's revealed himself in nature, he's revealed himself in Jesus, and he's revealed himself in the pages of the Bible. But one day, we'll be able to see him face to face. And when that time comes, the world will never be the same again. So until then, he's asking us to trust us or to trust him and put our faith in him. So let me encourage you, seek God, but seek him with all your heart. Really want to find him 
and open your eyes and look around. Look in the mirror. Look in the pages of the Bible. Look at Jesus, because God is there. Let me pray for us. God, we thank you that you have revealed yourself, that you're not trying to hide from us. You actually want to be found. Thank you for shifting our hearts and minds to think of you that way. Lord, I pray that we would open our hearts to see you and to trust you, to trust and be okay and satisfied right now with how you've revealed yourself. And we look forward to being face to face with you one day in eternity with you. In Jesus' name, amen.